Yes, Sheik, my question is, as I have little muddy coming out at any time, it may come once, maybe twice, maybe thrice in a day. So I follow your instructions as you told that to change your lower garments and do wudu before every salah. So sometimes I'm outside my home, so how will I pray? Uh, as I cannot change my lower garments, as I will be outside, then how should I pray at that time? I am assuming that you do not have OCD. Uh, yes, Sheikh. Uh, Sheikh, uh, one, one minute, please. I had OCD, and Alhamdulillah, because of your videos that I watched on YouTube, it cured, Alhamdulillah, 100%. But it's 100%, I have muddy coming out. <laughs> I understand, Akhi. This is why I made this disclaimer in the beginning. So, assuming you do not have OCD, Alhamdulillah, you don't have OCD. In this case, we have to understand that impurities are divided into three categories. Minor impurity, normal impurity, and major impurity in the sense that it requires something extra. Minor impurity is like the urine of a male boy who is still suckling and did not uh, eat solid foods yet. Why do we say minor impurity? Because if such urine touches clothes or objects, we don't have to wash it with water and pouring water all, all over it, rather sprinkling water that runs over it that's in easy fashion without squeezing and washing again is sufficient. Likewise, madhi. Madhi is considered to be najasa mukhaffafa. It is slight impurity. It's not like urine that requires washing, squeezing, and ensuring that it is gone. No, sprinkling water over it, over the spots, does the job. So if you have this it, uh, when you, you're outside the home, all what you need to, you don't have to change your undergarments or underwear. All what you have to do is go to the toilet with a small bottle of water and look at the spot or two and sprinkle water on that. And you do the same with your private part or if you can overwhelm the area with water and your testicles as well. And then make wudu. That's it. You have no problem. Uh, yani, inshallah.